well hi everybody um as you can see or maybe you can't see and make it out very much or very well but there's Lily kind of stopped there and there's Jack stopped there and they kind of met each other and I think Jack's like well she's going that way and I'm going this way so how do I yeah catch up with Lily and this is my house at the moment guys it's just the way that it is uh, Lily's out hasn't been out actually for about four days she's just been laying in her enclosure and doing what she wants to do which was not come out very surprising she did eat about five days ago but today she was at her door saying yeah I'll come on out well she hasn't gone much further Jack yeah he's he's wanting to turn around um, and go back to where Lily is and you know I've got to have those eyes in the back of my head right now with these two pair well two pair this pair one pair a uh, two pair well you can have two pairs of snakes but I've only got one pair out at the moment so breeding season you know Jack is frantic to be out all of the time um, of course seeking a female snake and it's something that you will notice that your males will become extremely active and uh, um, ag not agitated and I've, I've sort of said this before in a video that I haven't actually put up yet but you know you, you see them being very agitated in their enclosures because they can certainly smell your females in in the house um, of course I'm not going to let them breed and I'm sure that must be extremely frustrating for my boy but I'm not set to breed I'm not set up to breed right now so I certainly no I don't want that actually happening so I've just got to be very very vigilant with these two um, they can spend time together I don't have an issue with them being out and being together but I yeah, just keep my eye on them and I make sure that nothing's happening aren't I Jack and you're not overly impressed with mum moving you away from Lily all of the time but you know this at least Jack is a very trusting snake of me and doesn't get irritable at me because I constantly move him away from Lily or that you know I move Lily um, away from him as well it you know he seeks her out and more often than not Lily does move away from Jack so I I just watch and it's not often that I have to you know grab Lily and say to her come on um, she's already moving away herself so anyway this is just the start of the day it's nine o'clock in the morning so it's going to be a busy day guys I can see keeping my eye on these two so I'll do little bits over the day and uh, yeah so I'll turn off for now and be back later well I'm back and uh, Jack has just realized I know where she is now I have actually found her um Billy's tongue's going. 
Oh no, he's down there. She's uh, she's watching him. I'm waiting for her to decide where she's going to go. Um, if she's going to continue to avoid Jack, or whether she's going to decide that no, I, I'd like to be friends with him today. Uh, I've had a couple of scary moments where I thought, oh no, um, these two are getting very comfortable with one another. But uh, for now, no, Lily is avoiding Jack. So he spent so much time going all around the room to find her and then she goes and then he spends all that time retracing every step of where she's been and what what she's touched before he tracks her back down again so I guess that's a good bonus isn't it really when you think about it that it takes Jack a little bit of time to to find her so you know I'm not going to be doing this all day watching and and keeping my eye on them i you know i can't do it all day but uh yeah for now it's like what are you guys going to do hey lily isn't avoiding him like she used to though um you know at all costs she would be at full speed taking off now she's a little bit more inclined to to check him out a little bit and uh, yeah let him smooch on her a little bit more so oh gosh guys um, yeah it's just all uh, busy 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 and I looked earlier and I could see Jesse at his door wanting out and I'm thinking to myself, don't you start. Whoa, I nearly fell. Standing on a soft thing. I think he settled back down. But he earlier was certainly at his door, you know, saying, let me come on out to mum. I haven't got Tessa's slide on. I've had my little grandson here, but Tessa's got a big, fat, full belly. So she'll be pretty inactive for a couple of days herself which is good when you're chasing these two big buffs around the place but as you can see this is life um, living with my snakes at this time of the year it's a busy time of the year and it's one that I you know I know Jack wants to get out and do his thing of course Lily is at that age too but not so receptive to to the boy well as you can see Lily is way more way more if you're watching those tail ends guys this gives you an idea of all that courting and all that what they do is all about and Jack has been pretty insistent and I'm kind of blocking the light on you know courting with Lily every day pretty much and Lily has not been receptive to Jack but today she's showing all of the signs that she would be quite happy to breed with you, would she not, Jack? Is it okay if mum sits up here? And, you know, I understand that with some snakes, you got to set everything up right and you've got to make everything perfect for them and or cool them down or uh, all, all those sorts of bits and pieces. My thing is, they do it. They do what mm, comes naturally to them, don't you, Jack? 
You know how to court the ladies and how to woo them. I mean, last year Lily was in no way uh, receptive to Jack at all. Of course, that can change very, very quickly. And um, yet yeah, today I can see and you will see Jack is and I don't know if I can um, get in there without it blurring um, too much but he is certainly looking for Lily to yeah, lift her tail or turn her tail the right way so I've got to be right here dude I'm really, really sorry, buddy, but you know, that's the way that it goes. You know, mum doesn't want little baby snakes. And I know that mm, you and Lily, and you can see I, if it doesn't blur, but Jack um, is, you know, saying to Lily, come on, you know what to do or what you should do. And I'm disturbing Lily. She's like, hmm, you're in my space, mum. I'm sorry, guys, but it's not going to happen. It really, honestly, is not, not going to happen. Not this year. Mum might think about it next year and have Lily more prepared and more food in her belly and all the rest of it, Jack, but Mum was not planning on it and the same goes for you, Lily. Mum was not planning on it at all for you. So I certainly know these two would be quite uh, receptive to each other and mating without there being an issue. So. Um, it's just that that busy time for me and you know these guys aren't in their enclosure you know they're just out and about cruising around doing their thing but they would mate they don't don't um, <laughs> need um, to be locked up together in their enclosure together they don't need any of that they would do it out here because this is comfortable to them as well. And I can see, I'm gonna to have to put Jack home very soon. Um, Lily is no longer, as I said, not wanting to be around Jack. She's like, yeah, I'm all for it today. Let's, let's do this. But I'm not all for it today. So, um, you know, they know, they know it's me. They know, I know I'm touching your woman. Aren't I, Jack? Am I touching your girl? Is that what I'm doing? He, I'm touching your girl too. Um, yeah. So anyway, that gives you an idea. When snakes are ready, they're ready. When they're not, they're not. And you know, people try so many things to get snakes to lock and, you know, I know it might be different for, for other species. Uh, I just know with carpet pythons, you don't have to go to a whole lot of trouble, guys. Um, they will do what needs to be done when the time is ready to be done. And Lily has been very quiet in her... Um, enclosure and she is quite um you know she's been ovulating and making all those things that she should inside there um this last few days and wanted out today actually she's been she was fed and five days no sign of her today being the fifth day her wanting out so she was in there resting up and doing what she needed to do um, to be, of course, receptible, receptible to the advance, 
says of my boy Jack and I don't blame it he's a very very handsome fellow and he's still trying everything he can and that's the wrong spot so I don't mind that at all um, of course that doesn't mean Lily's not going to move her tail up um, either but oh my gosh it's not not the way I planned my day guys was to prevent things from happen <laughs> happening are well, you determined are oh, you dude very determined and I feel really terrible mm, not letting you have some fun but um yeah no fun I'm sorry he's just so so determined and if you've never seen this is this is what the, oh and it keeps blurring but this is what they do just tickle the female's back get her to respond which of course she is doing that oh my goodness you too you naughty and you don't care about doing it in front of people do you you don't care that mum's sitting here right next to you 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 could care less hey you could care less <sighs> anyway guys it's my day making sure these two will behave themselves and looking they're not going to behave themselves at all so I have to be the big bad meanie and uh, yeah make sure that Lily keeps on moving her tail and me moving Jack's tail as I do it's like I just kind of get in a position mum and you 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 you're moving me away but I have to do it that's life Sometimes you can and sometimes you can't. So I'm going to end the video here because I am going to be putting Jack home. And uh, you all take care of yourself and your family, your friends, your snakes. You know, your snakes and all your animals.